Song Haikyo faced Song Jun Ki, but this time she lost. Song Jun Ki and Song Haikyo have been frequently mentioned these past few days due to their previous ties with each other. And this time as well, Song Haikyo has admitted defeat to Song Jun Ki. Join the YouTube channel at ZZWBS Tao to find out more about this event in the following video. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with the latest information from the channel. Recently, Gallup, a leading reputable market research organization in South Korea, compiled a list of the most loved Korean television shows over the past three years. This list, now published, is drawing significant attention from the netizen community. 3. The Glory. The Glory, featuring performances by Song Haikyo, Lee Du Hyun, Lim Ji Yeon, and others, has a viewer preference rate of 14.8%, ranking third on the lists. With its theme of school violence and the female protagonist Moon Dong Yoon's revenge story, The Glory has captivated viewers right from the first episodes. The Glory is also considered the most significant role and series in the long acting career of Korean screen gem Song Haikyo, helping her not only to dispel doubts about her acting skills but also to win the Best Actress Award at Beak Sang 2023. 2. Extraordinary Attorney Woo Young Woo. After struggling in the industry for many years without securing a firm foothold, Park Yoon Bin's appearance as Woo Young Woo brought a strong turning point in her career warmly received by audiences across Asia. Playing an autistic female lawyer with an extraordinary IQ, Park Yoon Bin's skillful acting brought to life a very vibrant and impressive Woo Young Woo. Every gesture, action, and word of the character was portrayed with finesse, earning admiration from viewers. 1. Youngest Son of a Conglomerate Youngest Son of a Conglomerate, a adapted project directed by Jung Dae Yoon of W, Two Worlds, Featuring performances by Song Joon Ki, Lee Sung Min, and Shin Hyun Bin, led the rankings this time with a voting rate of 16.6%. In reality, Youngest Son of a Conglomerate is a somewhat controversial series, even criticized for being inconsistent. If the first half of the series is as intriguing, compact, and impressive, the latter half, especially the series finale, feels rushed and incomplete, leaving many issues unresolved. Apart from the top three series listed above, the list also includes Queen of Tears, Queen of Tears, by Kim Soo Hyun, Kim Ji Won, which has been causing a sensation recently. As a newcomer joining the race, Queen of Tears managed to surpass blockbuster hits like Taxi Driver, Moving, Teenage Superpower Team, to rank fourth overall. Top 10 Most Loved Korean Dramas in the Past 3 Years 10. Our Blues 9. My Dearest my Love. 8. Taxi Driver, Anonymous. 7. Moving, Teenage Superpower Team. 6. 1001 Lawyer. 5. Dr. Cha. 4. Queen of Tears. 3. The Glory. 2. Extraordinary Attorney Wu Young Wu. 1. Youngest Son of a Conglomerate. On the evening of the 7th of May, the 60th Beak Sang Arts Awards ceremony officially took place. Before that, this year's Big Sang had sparked some controversies regarding the nominations and continued to do so when the results were announced. For the D-Sang of television series this year, instead of an individual, the entire team of the series Moving was named. This result was warmly received by the audience, as Moving had created a global frenzy over the past year thanks to its excellent script and superb acting from the entire cast. You might not know. But D Sang is an award not just for actors. Hence, in the history of the prestigious Big Sang Awards, only 10 actors have ever had the honor of being named. Therefore, male actors like Lee Min Ho, Song Joon Ki, and Kim Soo Hyun all aspire to touch this prestigious title once. To date, only Hyun Bin has been the sole male actor to receive a D Sang at Big Sang, which he achieved in 2011 for the hit series Secret Garden alongside Ha Ji Won. Secret Garden is one of the most famous series of Sun Yi Jin's husband. Twelve years have passed, and to this day, Hyun Bin remains a leading star in South Korea with numerous notable projects in both television and film. Throughout his career, Hyun Bin has received two major awards, D Sang, for the hit production Secret Garden, 2010, and Crash Landing on You, 2019. This is considered a fitting tribute to Hyun Bin's dedication to acting. However, 
Sun Yi Jin's husband has not yet won any notable film awards, despite participating in many projects in the past. Song Hai Kyo and Song Jun Ki, once celebrated as a golden couple in the Korean entertainment industry, have had a relationship journey that captured significant public attention. They first met on the set of the hugely popular drama Descendants of the Sun, where their chemistry was undeniable both on screen and off. The series not only garnered high viewership ratings but also sparked rumors of a real-life romance, which the duo initially denied. However, to the delight of their fans, they announced their marriage in 2017, marking a fairy tale romance that turned into a reality. Their wedding was a star-studded affair, widely covered by media outlets across Asia. Despite the initial bliss, the marriage between Song Hai Kyo and Song Jun Ki was short-lived. By mid-2019, Song Jun Ki filed for divorce, which was finalized within a few months. The news of their separation shocked fans worldwide as it came just about two years after their extravagant wedding. The couple maintained a low profile regarding the reasons behind their split, emphasizing their desire to handle the matter respectfully and privately. Post-divorce, both actors focused on their careers, continuing to excel in their respective projects without much public overlap in their professional lives. Before her marriage to Song Jun Ki, Song Hai Kyo had another high-profile relationship with actor Hyun Bin. They met during the filming of the drama Worlds Within in 2008, where they played a couple working in the television industry. Their on-screen romance eventually led to a real-life relationship, making headlines due to their popularity and the strong following of their respective careers. The couple openly dated for a couple of years, during which they were frequently spotted together and were open about their relationship, gaining much love and support from fans. However, the relationship between Song Hai Kyo and Hyun Bin did not last. They announced their breakup in early 2011, citing the pressure of public scrutiny and their busy schedules as the primary reasons. The split was handled with maturity from both sides, and they remained respectful of each other in their public statements. Both Song Hai Kyo and Hyun Bin continued to establish themselves as top actors in the Korean entertainment industry. They have since moved on to other projects and relationships, maintaining professionalism and demonstrating their commitment to their craft despite personal challenges. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video. We truly appreciate your engagement and would love to hear your thoughts, so please don't hesitate to leave your opinions and feedback in the comment section below. Your input is invaluable to us.